from the wonderful world of sports, we bring you Home Run Derby, where each week the leading home run hitters of the major leagues will compete in a home run hitting contest. You'll meet such stars as Duke Snyder, Eddie Matthews, Rocky Calavito, Ernie Banks, Mickey Mantle, Henry Aaron, Harmon Killebrew, Willie Mays, and many others. Well, hi there, everybody. I'm Mark Scott, and today on Home Run Derby, we have the amazing Willie Mays against the Washington Senators' Big Jim Lemon. The boys have just finished their batting practice. They're all set to go, so let's meet them, shall we? Come on in, fellas. Willie, good to see you again. Thank you, Mark. Jim, nice to have you here. Thank you, Mark. As you know, the winner today receives $2,000. The loser, $1,000. As a bonus, any time you hit three home runs in a row, you'll get an additional $500. The fourth home run in a row, another $500. And each successive home run after that is an additional $1,000. Now you'll play nine innings, and you'll get three outs per inning. Any ball not hit out of the ballpark for a home run is an out. A swing and a miss, or a called strike by plate umpire Art Passarella also constitutes an out. Pitchers are out there to throw the ball over the plate. They're batting practice pitches, and they'll work every other inning. Now, Willie, as the winner of our last contest, you'll act as the home team. Jim, that means you'll bat first. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. Good luck, Jim. Good luck, Willie. We'll start Home Run Derby in just a moment. You're watching Home Run Derby on Classic Sports Network. Voted the 10th greatest NBA game of all time, it's the spectacular bird Dominique shootout in the 88 playoffs. You are watching what greatness is all about. Watch the Hawks and Celtics Thursday at 9, only on Classic Sports. Classic Sports Network, where the legends play. Battle up! Well, we're all set to go here in the top half of the first inning as Jim Lemon steps into the batter's box. As an incentive for the pitcher to get the ball over the plate, the pitcher who throws the most home run balls also receives a bonus. Willie Mays against Jim Lemon. Here we go again, Willie. All right, Ma. It's a home run or nothing here on Home Run Derby. High fly ball down the left field line, curving. Foul! Foul by about a foot over the left field wall. What a way! Man, he hit that one. Yep, he did, Mark. One out. He almost put you in the hole on the first pitch. <laughs> High fly ball back deep in the left center field. This one could go away back and up against the wall. Two hard hit balls by Jim Lemon. Two outs. But here on Home Run Derby, it's two outs. That was a double. <laughs> yes. Ground ball, and that's all for Jim Lemon in the first inning. Three outs. Failed the score. And now, at the end of a half inning of play, Jim Lemon nothing, Willie Mays coming up. Jim, you hit two balls there in a row that I thought for sure were going to be home runs. Well, I, I thought the first one would if it stayed fair, but the second one didn't, didn't hit real good, and I was real doubtful about it. Well, you had a couple of good whacks at it. Well, swinging a little better. Here we go. Willie Mays up. Last half of the first. High infield pop-up for an out. What a way. Jim, I noticed that you don't stride at all. You have your feet planted out there, and you just swing from that position. Well, I've been sort of experimenting with that stance. Two I pop up two away. In uh, previous years, in 1959, I went into it uh, completely and uh, 
uh, had a pretty good year with it. You had a great year in 1959 with it. Better stick to it. <laughs> High fly ball going back deep in the left field. This is going to go away uh, back and gone over the left field wall. Willie Mays goes out in front one to nothing. A line drive in the left field for an out, and that's all for Willie. Three outs. But Willie picked up a home run here in the last half of the first inning, and the score at the end of one complete, Willie Mays won, Jim Lemon nothing. Willie, you had one home run and one ball that would have been a base hit in any ball game. <laughs> that doesn't count, Mark. I'll take the home run any time. Well, it's a home run or nothing here on Home Run Derby. Jim Lemon steps in. Lemon takes no stride at all while... With your style, you, you stride out there a bit, don't you? Well, I have to, Mark. He's six feet or more, so I'm just five, ten and a half. Here. One away. That's an out. One away, second inning. Willie Mays out in front, one to nothing. You've defeated two Washington Senators in a row. You beat Bob Allison, 11 to three, and Harmon Killebrew, seven to six. Well, I just hope I can just keep going, Mark. You never know, you know. Line drive to left. Two away. Two outs. You're trying to beat the whole Washington ball club. Well, I like that. They're trying to beat me too, you know that. <laughs> Line drive to left, way back, and up against the wall for an out. Well tagged, but an out. And that's all for Jim Lemon. And the score now going into the bottom of the second. Willie Mays won, Jim Lemon nothing. Jim, you were a slow starter against Henry Aaron when you lost by a score of six to four. Is that your pattern during the regular season? Well, uh, I like to get an awful lot of spring training. I like to get a lot of running in. And, uh, uh, of course, the more hitting you get, the quicker you come around. And uh, it's just a matter of how much hitting you can get. Here's Willie Mays. He lines one to left for an out. One away. Generally, I would say I'm a slow starter. I think all big men are generally get started slower than than a little fellow like, like Aaron will say who gets out of bed hitting home runs. High fly ball down the left field line, curving foul. Two outs. Two away. Of course, in a regular campaign, you have 154 games in which to unwind and get going. Here, it's nine innings. High fly ball into left field, way back near the light tower, way back, way back, and... That stays in the ballpark for an out. Willie Mays Three goes away. down in the second inning. And the score now at the end of two complete. Willie Mays won. Jim Lemon, nothing. Willie, in a regular ball game, do you actually ever swing for a home run or you just swing the bat and let's see what happens? Well, uh, when I do swing for a home run, Mark, it's only like a uh, latter part of the inning and maybe we'll one run behind. I will try to go for a home run then. But I found that when I try for a home run, I don't hit the ball at all. So I, I never try too often. You just try to swing just and try to just hope it goes. Yes, definitely. Here's Jim Lemon. Line drive to left. What a one. I think that's a wonderful lesson for the youngsters to know that you don't actually have to swing hard to hit the ball out of the park. No, no, you don't, Mark. You just have to just meet the ball correctly and then it'll go. High fly ball deep to left field. This may tie it up, but way back, way back, and... Gone over the left field wall to tie it up at one to one. There goes your lead. Oh, down. Right out of the ballpark. Yes. <laughs> one to one here in the third. This ballpark has been selected because it favors neither an American nor a National League player. High infield pop up, two away. Two outs. Shortstop gobble that one up. High pop up to the right side of the infield for an out. And that's all for Jim Lemon in the third. But the score at the end of two and a half innings of play is now Willie Mays one, Jim Lemon one. Jim, after several near misses, you finally got one. You finally hit one. Felt good? Yes, very good. You're all tied up with Willie at one to one. Well, you, you get that first and then it's much easier then. You can never get the second one until you get the first. <laughs> that's right. Here's Willie Mays, the last half of the third. Line drive out to left, way back, way back, and gone over the left field wall for a home run. He unsettled that tie in a hurry. Line drive all the way, wasn't it? Yeah, just a question whether or not it would be fair or foul. 
Line drive to left, way back, way back, and up against the wall for an out. What out? Tough to call a ball hit like that against the wall and out. Just yeah, isn't it though? Boy. The home run or nothing here on home run derby. High infield pop up. Two out. You experienced the feeling of two home runs in a row and couldn't get that third one. That's right. High fly ball back deep in the left center field near the light pole, way back and gone over the left center field wall. It's three to one now, Willie out in front. Two home runs in this inning for Mays, the last half of the third, leading three to one. High fly ball into left field. That's going to stay in the park. And that'll be all for Mays here in the third, but he picked up two big three home out. runs. And the score now at the end of three complete. Willie Mays, three. Jim Lemon, one. We'll be right back to start the top half of the fourth inning. Slugger Jim Lemon and pitcher Bob Lemon were A, brothers, B, the inspiration for the rock and roll sensation the Lemonheads, or C, led the American League in strikeouts. Stay tuned for the surprising answer when we return to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. Okay, you've seen them and maybe you've even considered buying one. Well, if you broke a little sweat over the thought of losing your pocketbook over your waistline, here's something you'll definitely want to consider. At less than half the price of the leading competitor, the Ab Ultimizer is a sleek and stylish toning machine. The best value for anyone wanting firm, tight, rock-hard abs. Unlike regular sit-ups, the Ab Ultimizer offers much-needed support for head and neck while targeting upper, middle, and lower abdominals. So you'll firm and flatten your stomach in weeks, not months. We guarantee it. I was unable to do sit-ups because of a neck injury. I tried all sorts of expensive equipment in rehab, but nothing compares to the Ab Ultimizer. In just a few weeks, I was amazed at the results. I've tried everything. Diet, pills, nothing seemed to work. That's why I'm so grateful for the Ab Ultimizer. It gave me the figure I've always wanted. The Ab Ultimizer has extra thick padding for your arms and neck and it's made of quality one-inch steel to outlast these other popular ab machines. We could spend at least 30 minutes telling you all about the benefits of the Ab Ultimizer. Instead, we'll get right to the point. And because we're saving on advertising, we're able to offer you a rock-bottom price on the rock-hard abs you've always wanted. Why spend $100 or even $89 when you can order the Ab Ultimizer for only two easy payments of $19.95? The Ab Ultimizer comes with a lifetime warranty. Plus, if you order now, you'll also receive our Ab Ultimizer workout video, a $19.95 value free with your order. Use the Ab Ultimizer five minutes a day for just 10 days. If you haven't lost two and a half inches and significantly flattened your stomach, return it for a no questions asked refund. The Ab Ultimizer makes a great gift. To order, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-344-4888 or send $39.90 plus $12.95 shipping and handling to Ab Ultimizer, P.O. Box 910, Department 44, Gardnerville, Nevada. Don't wait. Supplies are limited. Call 1-800-344-4888. The NBA at 50 Top 10 Countdown is winding down. 50 years of NBA history jammed into the 50 greatest games. You've already seen classic performances, but now it's time for the very best. The Top 10 Games of All Time, voted by the NBA Writers of America. So count down from Magic's Hook to Bird Steel to Triple Overtime. I don't believe it! Believe it! It's the NBA at 50 Top 10 Countdown, beginning Thursday, January 30th, only on Classic Sports. Slugger Jim Lemon holds the dubious distinction of having struck out more times than any other American League batter between the years 1956 and 1958, while pitcher Bob Lemon led all American League hurlers in strikeouts in 1950, making the correct answer C. We now return to the Home Run Derby Marathon. Back to Home Run Derby in the top half of the fourth inning. Willie, you unscrambled that tie ball game. Yes, I'm glad of that, Ma. Gee, he's been hitting the ball real hard. Yes, uh, he's just missed a few. Yes, I can see that. Jim Lemon at bat. Top half of the fourth. Willie Mays leading three to one. Ground foul. One out. One away. Almost put that out in your column. Don't do that, huh? Well, it can help you no more. That's two outs. That's two away. 
He wears number 23 on his uniform. You wear number 24. You just want to beat him by that one number, don't you? Well, no, that's all it takes, Mark. That's one. Just one. Line drive to left field for an out, and that's all for Jim in the fourth inning. Three Failed up. to score. And now, at the end of three and a half innings of play, Willie Mays, three. Jim Lemon, one. Jim, do ball players have a pride in wanting to win a contest like this for their own league? Well, I, I, I certainly, certainly think uh, there's a certain amount, but there's also that money involved. That's what counts. <laughs> and there's a lot of it riding here on Home Run Derby. It certainly is. Here's Willie Mays, the last half of the fourth. Line drive to left. What a way! Being there for two bases the way Willie can run, and maybe three. But it's an out here on Home Run Derby. High fly ball into left center field. This may or may not go. It's way back there. And it stays in the ballpark for an out. Two out. Two away. I think the fans are learning that it isn't quite so easy to hit home run balls. Oh, well, it certainly is. Uh, it, everything must go just perfect for you to hit one. Round ball, and that's all for Willie Mays in the fourth inning. Three out. And the score now at the end of four complete. Willie Mays, three. Jim Lemon, one. Well, did you miss the polo grounds in New York? I, I, th I think I do, Mark, because it's just like uh, your first home. That's the first major league ballpark I played in and had a lot of running room out there, and I really miss running, you know, a lot of long fly ball, I think. You rob many a hitter of many a hit. Well, some do the same for me, Mark. Jim Lemon swings on the first pitch and belts one high and deep, way back, way back, and gone over the left center field wall. It's now three to two. Jim Lemon hit that one a country mile. Top of the fifth, none out. Line drive to left. It is a low sinking line drive. One out. Ball's in the corner. One bounce against the wall. That's an out here on Home Run Derby. One away, the top half of the fifth. Three to two. Willie Mays out in front. Line drive to left. Went for a pitch a little bit high that time, Two away. Willie. Yes. Two outs. High fly ball deep to left. This is going to tie it up. A way back, way back. Goodbye. Over the left field wall for a home run. We're all tied up at three to three. Line drive to left field for an out. And that's all for Jim Lemon in the fifth. However, he picked three up out. two home runs. And the score now going into the bottom of the fifth. Jim Lemon three. Willie Mays three. Jim, you found the range that time and tied it up. I hit a couple balls pretty good that inning. Yes, you did. Doesn't take much just to get into the swing of it That's and start right. belting them out. Hit the last ball real good and it sunk on me. One be of those a, things. Be a base hit in the game, but it's an out here. That's right. Here's Willie Mays in the fifth. Fouls it off. That's an out. It's a home run or nothing here on the Run Derby. The winner of this contest will play another outstanding major leaguer on our next home run derby. High fly ball into center field. That'll be an out. Two away. Second baseman might have backed up for that one. Second baseman shortstop had a good shot at that one. Well, he picked up one home run in the first, two in the third. Tied up three to three. High fly ball going back deep into the left field. Goodbye. Way back and gone over the left field wall. It's now four to three with Willie out in front. Picked up a low pitch and yeah, lofted really, it. Really hit it good, didn't he? He golfed that one a bit. Foul tip for an out, and Three that's out. all for Willie Mays in the fifth inning. But he picked up a home run, and the score now at the end of five complete. Willie Mays, four. Jim Lemon, three. Willie, do you play golf? No, Mike, but I, I hear it's an exciting game. I, I like to learn someday. Well, you sort of learned on that one you hit out of the park. You golfed it. Well, I don't know about that. I just swing it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Jim Lemon, top half of the sixth. Four to three, Willie Mays leading. Another exciting contest here on Home Run Derby. Line drive to left, way back, way back, and foul! What a way! Was curving all the way. Well, it hit hard enough to go all the way, Mark. Line drive to left again, it is. No! Two out. hit the foul pole. 
however, below the line of the fence out in left field and drops back in for an out. He's had two near misses. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> two out in the sixth. Hard enough to get. Miss him like that. Oh, that's right. The all base hits still, but... <laughs> A home run or nothing here on Home Run Derby. Two away in the sixth. Willie Mays out in front of Jim Lemon, four to three. There goes one. That's going to stay fair way back. Foul! And foul! Three outs. Just barely foul by inches. And Jim Lemon had three good whacks at it. And the score now going into the bottom half of the sixth inning. Willie Mays, four. Jim Lemon, three. Jim, I think you could have rented a wind machine for about $50 to throw those balls into fair territory. I had three balls real good. All, two of them foul and one fair, but breaks of the game. Here's Willie Mays, the last of the sixth, leading four to three. High fly ball deep to left center field near the light pole, way back and gone over the left center field wall. Home run for Willie here, puts him out in front five to three the last half of the sixth. He'd be fighting to come from behind if some oh. of yours had stayed fair. Line drive to left for an out. One out. One away in the sixth. Well, he's been consistent today. Five home runs in six innings so far. Ground ball for an out, two away. Two outs. Five to three, Willie Mays out in front. The last half of the sixth, two away. High fly ball back to him in the left field and may go, may go. Goodbye for a home run. Six to three now, Willie leading. That it's was all a, over. Now that ball was up around his chin. Makes no difference what I pitch him. <laughs> Just a great hitter. That's right. Line drive to center. Three for out. and out. Ball was well hit. But Willie Mays picks up two home runs here in the sixth inning. And the score now, at the end of six complete, is Willie Mays six, Jim Lemon three. We'll be back in just a moment for the top of the seventh inning. We'll return in a moment to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. Super Bowl viewers, please direct your attention to the coin toss. Gentlemen, this is heads, this is tails. Captain, call it in the air. For this historic 31st Super Bowl, the NFL Commission Balfour, maker of Super Bowl championship rings to create the official opening toss coin for Super Bowl 31. And now you can reserve one of these historic game coins for only $59.95. There's 75,000 tickets to the Super Bowl, but only 7,500 game coins will be minted. And each is individually numbered with a certificate of authenticity. The coin features the helmet of the New England Patriots and the Green Bay Packers and is minted with one troy ounce of pure silver. And if you call right now, you'll receive this collector's display case absolutely free. Sorry, due to the limited quantity of coins, only credit card reservations can be honored. There's only one 31st Super Bowl and only one official game coin. So have your credit card ready and reserve yours now. I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. Classic Sports Network, where the legends play. Classic Sports Network congratulates the Green Bay Packers on winning Super Bowl 31. Congratulations to the Green Bay Packers. You're watching Classic Sports Network. Back to home run derby in the top half of the seventh inning. 
Well, you hit two pretty good that time. Yes, I did, Mark, and he looks kind of good in the late innings, I think. Yes, it is. You're out in front by a score of six to three. Yes. What a one! Roll her back to the mound for an out. High fly ball into center field. Two away. Two outs! At this particular point, we'd like to commend and compliment and thank our pitchers, outfielders, and catchers for the great job they've done here on Home Run Derby. Ground ball, and that's all for Jim Lemon. Goes down scoreless in the seventh inning. And the score now, going into the bottom of the seventh, is Willie Mays, six. Jim Lemon, three. Jim, just a couple of moments ago, I was commenting on the good work of the players on the field. You've had the umpires call a couple against you. How have they been doing? <laughs> They've done a real good job. I, I, I got in line. I could, I could tell as well as Passarella that, that the balls were foul. Line drive to left for an out. One out. One away here in the seventh. We have umpires down each line. Our head umpire, Art Passarella. Line drive. Two away. Two out. Six to three. Willie Mays out in front. Two away here in the seventh. A ground ball to the left side. Three out. And that's all for Willie Mays in the seventh inning. Failed to score. And now at the end of seven complete, it's Willie Mays six. Jim Lemon, three. Willie, you got a three-run lead here, but the way Jim's hit some of those foul, it isn't too secure. Well, I just hope he keep hitting foul, Mark. That's my only suspicion. Jim Lemon, the batter, top half of the eighth. One out! He nubbed it to the right side of the infield for an out. Line drive to left center field for an out. Two away! That was a close liner. Yes, it was. Two away in the eighth. High pop up into shallow left field for an out. Three out! So Jim Lemon goes down in the eighth inning, failed to score, and going now to the bottom of the eighth inning, it's Willie Mays, six. Jim Lemon, three. Jim, in a home run hitting contest, I guess the tough job is getting your right pitch. Getting a ball that you can hit best, and but when you get it, you have to do something with it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hit any line drives like, like uh, some have been hit here today. You gotta get the ball in the air. Here's Willie Mays, the last half of the eighth, leading six to three. High pop up into shallow left field for an out. One out! Willie loosened himself up right before that last pitch, reminiscent of the way that Jackie Robinson used to do. Yes, I, I'm not too familiar with Robinson, but... Uh, Ground ball, two away. Two outs! Uh, Willie is a real loose type of hitter. Never never gets tense at the plate, relaxes, and, and therefore the bat head can come through with much less effort than if you're tight. High fly ball down the left field line. It's way back there, way back, and... No, nope, it stays in the ballpark for an hour. He hit that one a mile high, but not quite far enough. And that's all for Willie in the eighth inning. And the score now, at the end of eight complete, is Willie Mays six, Jim Lemon three. Willie, you've won a total of $5,000 so far on Home Run Derby. If you can hold Jim Lemon, not that you can do much about it, but if you can keep him from getting three home runs here in the ninth, that'll be a total of $7,000. Well, right now, Mark, I don't even want to talk about it. Let me just go right ahead and just keep going. That's what I like to do. Here's Jim Lemon, top half of the ninth. High fly ball into deep left center field. Way back there, way back, and stays in the park. One out! Ground ball for the second out. In a regular ball game, Two if you away. were managing the team, you could... Warm up another pitcher to get ready to go in. Now all you can do is sit here and wait. Well, that's a different game. We're not playing that kind of game, boy. Three out. High fly ball into straightaway center field. That's all for Jimmy Lemon. And Willie Mays wins it by a score of six to three. We'll be back in just a moment to talk to our ball players and present the checks. The final score, Willie Mays six, Jim Lemon three. How many episodes of Home Run Derby were filmed? The answer when we return to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports. Tim Conway's back and he's hauling in a whopper. It's Dork Goes Fishing, this year's funniest comedy home video. Let Tim Conway as that master sportsman dork show you everything you've always wanted to know about fishing. Go back in time to man's first fishing method. Let Dorf show you what to wear, how to clean your day's catch, 
how to get in shape, the joys of fishing with your spouse, plus important boating and safety tips. Dwarf Ghost Fishing is guaranteed to be the funniest fishing video you've ever seen, and it's not available in stores. So what are you waiting for? Call and order Dwarf Ghost Fishing today. Call now and you'll get Dwarf Ghost Fishing plus this official Dwarf Floating Keychain absolutely free. For rush delivery, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-848-1000. The funniest, the most outrageous, Tim Conway is very best to Dwarf Ghost Fishing. That's 1-800-848-1000 or send 1995 plus $4 to the address on your screen. Order now. Perhaps the greatest Olympian to overcome adversity was Wilma Rudolph of the United States. As a child, a series of illnesses left one of her legs almost paralyzed. She had to wear a brace, and members of her family would daily massage her damaged leg. When she was 13, the brace was removed. Then in high school, she became an outstanding basketball player and sprinter on the track team. Wilma Rudolph is simply overpowering this field. An Olympic gold medal goes to Wilma Rudolph of the United States. You don't believe it until years later, it could, it, 10, 15 years later, you, it, you really get a grasp on what has happened to you. I think it's the greatest feeling to know that uh, it's your accomplishment, you know, and to stand there and have the flag raised particularly for you is one of the greatest feelings in the world. Twenty-six episodes of Home Run Derby were filmed between the years 1959 and 1961. We now return to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports. Well, Jim, as you know, baseball is a matter of inches. And in this contest today, a couple of inches this way, a couple of inches this way, and the results of this contest might have been changed. But accept this check for $1,000 in our congratulations. Thank you, Mark. Willie, good luck to you. Thank you, Jeff. Willie, this is becoming a habit. I imagine it's one that you like. Another check for $2,000, which makes a total of $7,000 that you've won so far on Home Run Derby. Your next opponent is from the National League and the Los Angeles Dodgers. His name, Gil Hodges. Well, I, I know a great deal about Mr. Hodges. He can hit him a long ways, Mark. Congratulations for a job well done and good luck in the future. Thank you, Mark. Join us at home plate for another exciting contest when Willie Mays will meet Gil Hodges on Home Run Derby. Home Run Derby is produced with multiple cameras. The players' interviews being recorded simultaneously with the contest. <laughs>